I think for the most part, he's kind of a couch dog. You know, Saturday mornings or weekends when he knows it's busy, he'll sit out front, you know, on the doorstep and just kind of watch people as they go up to the trailhead. And he'll pick who, we, who he wants to go with. A lot of people he even knows, so he'll see them and boogie on up to catch them for an adventure. My name is Scott Swift and I live at the top of Crow Creek Road in Girdwood, Alaska, uh, right near the Crow Pass Trail where it starts. And my dog is uh, Nanook Swift, or Nookie, I guess we'll call it for short. Uh, Nanook has been, I guess, self-proclaimed uh, little rescue dog. Kind of started before, maybe a few years before he had met Amelia and uh, he had spent uh, probably eight to 10 times per summer heading over to the uh, nature center on the other end of Crow Pass Trail. And he would be gone for two to three, sometimes up to five days at a time. And I'd always get a phone call with him at the nature center to come get him. So I'd have to do the five hour trip all the way around to go get him. I think it was last June. Uh, Amelia was hiking up and over Crow Pass and lost her footing going down a glacier on the other side. Uh, slipped and fell about 500 feet or so and bounced off a rock or a boulder and uh, kind of laid there for a while wondering what was going on. And that's when she met Nookie and she thought it was a little odd that she would meet a dog way out here in the middle of nowhere and uh, read his tag that said Crow Pass Guide Dog. They spent the night there together and the next morning as they were hiking across the river is when Amelia slipped and fell in the, the river and was in there for quite a little ways before Nanook uh, eventually swam up behind her and actually grabbed her by the pack and the two of them got themselves to shore. That's when Amelia, about an hour later, realized that she was in pretty big trouble because she still hadn't made it across and she was all wet and uh, pretty scared from the experience and that's when she pressed her little spot activator and in comes a helicopter. They thought that Nanook was her dog. It wasn't until they were flying back when Trooper read what was on his tag and then put two and two together and then uh, Amelia turned out uh, to be deaf. So she conveyed in a message uh, about what had happened and uh, that's when the trooper you know delivered my dog to me later on that night and uh, told me the whole story uh, i was pretty blown away <laughs>